Hey y'all, my name is Amanda and I'm the Adult Programming and Outreach Coordinator here at the St. Charles Parish Library. Today I'm here to just throw together a really quick piece of bad art. So if you're wondering what bad art is, basically you're trying to throw all of your creativity and good taste out the window and just create a mess and a horrible masterpiece. So in your program to go back, you'll get a canvas and watercolor palette with a brush included. Feel free to grab anything you can find at home. I've rummaged through um, a big craft bin that we have at home and I've got some foam stickies and random markers and rubber bands, some straw, plastic fork, and a tiny bow, plus some sticky felt and sticky foam. I also have tape and some scissors. So I'm going to create my piece of bad art while I kind of throw out some ideas for y'all at home and I hope you're ready to chat and share your bad art pieces with me. So for my background I think I'm going to go ahead and do watercolors. So here on my right hand side, this is a piece that one of our staff members did last year when we did this program at West which is a huge hit. So that's why we wanted to go ahead and offer it to you guys this summer. I know everybody's going stir crazy and looking for something to do. And this is just a fun way to let go and not need to be good at doing something and just have fun. On my left side, this is a piece that one of our staff members put together. And they just used acrylic paint that they had and went outside and found a bunch of sticks and leaves. And like I said, you can use anything you have at home, buttons, string, feathers, old broken toys. Whoops, sorry, can't throw it away. Need to use it for my art or race cars, anything you wanna do. And then this is a piece that I did, just showing an example of bad art with only the watercolors, so you can totally do this if you only have the watercolors. I'm just gonna throw some colors in my background with the paint real quick before I move on to getting the fun stuff together. So here's my watercolor piece. And I'll move on to the next thing. I think I'm going to take some of these markers and throw some funny designs on here. Not paying too much attention. Let's see. I'll try to use the same colors that I use as my paint. So if you haven't done your bad art yet and you're just tuning in to kind of get some inspiration, I hope something's hit you. If not, think of your favorite movie, favorite book, a book you want to turn into a picture. I was obviously thinking about Forky this morning when I grabbed this plastic fork. So here's my marker designs. I'm going to get him assembled. So I'm just going to use tape to stick him on there. And then draw some eyes. Let's do a big green one. And a little purple one. some straw for his hair. He's gonna have long hair. He's got that quarantine hair. No cuts yet. Have a little bow tie.
really quickly. I'm gonna cut out some clothes. See how good I can do this. I didn't draw any of this, just kind of going as I think things. Threw this design together real quick while I was making my son's lunch this morning. I'm actually surprised I remembered I had to film today. I'm sure you moms know how that is and dads. I can't get the sticky back off. There we go. On this little shirt, making some pants. And with these, let's just say he loves sports. So we're gonna throw these on here, these hearts, to show his love for sports. And then I have a whole bunch of sports sticky phones that I grabbed. I have three boys, so I always have the sports stuff. Let's see. Just a pile. Just stick them all in a pile. Yeah, add some more to his eyes. And of course, a little nose and a mouth. And there you have it, piece of bad art. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for joining us.